I hate leaving Erie, Pennsylvania this time of the year. It's spring, it's cool, hooded sweatshirt weather, fish are spawning everywhere. Lake's a little bit choppy today, but sure is nice up here. I'm getting ready to go where it's super hot. I did break up flip flops, striker shorts. Can I take Isabelle with me? Yeah. Isabelle, you wanna go to Florida? She, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> On camera. I'll tell you what, it has been a long break. It's been three months since our last tournament. So I'm going to heavy hitters in Kissimmee and then I got a tournament where uh, I'm gonna be going. What? Check it out. Got the G-Juice out. I'm gonna use my live wells and the Ranger for the first time. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited. So doing some grilling. But I'm packed up, locked and loaded. down tight. I can't tell you how much I love this thing. See you in the morning. All right, all right. Five hours and 21 minutes away from Kissimmee, Florida. I thought I was gonna get a lot closer, but not gonna make it. Getting tired and I don't take chances. I used to, not anymore. So my arrival should have been around two o'clock in the morning, but not gonna make it. So I'm gonna jump into camper, go to sleep, wake up early, hit it again. E -uh, e -uh, e -uh. Well, forgot my ladder. So there is absolutely no way I'm sticking my fingers back up in there again. Well, there's the option to sleep right here. But what I'd way rather do is sleep up there. But without the step ladder, I don't want to break my finger again. So. We're gonna do it right here. At least I can get stretched out. There's a board that goes in right here. And then I could put these extra cushions, make myself a bigger area, but the board is packed away up under here. So I wasn't really thinking. But anyway, see you tomorrow. weird from state to state like seeing the differences I guess in their COVID-19 protocol or whatever you can't even get into a place it doesn't matter what it is a gas station anything without wearing a mask all the states south it's like there's nothing even going on there's no masks at all not even the cashiers or the workers or anything so while people are worried about COVID-19, they really should be worried about exotic insect hitchhikers, such as the midge. That little bug right there was in my driveway yesterday. I'm bringing him to Florida. So hopefully, I'm, I haven't decided whether I'm gonna let him out yet or not. He wants out, right where he knows he's gonna be free if I even touch that window. If I even touch that button, you're free, bud. But does he want to be free? That's the question. I would think so, because down here in Florida, in the truck, pretty hot. Black truck. We'll see. I don't know whether to let him go or not. I just brought a Mitch to Florida. All right, after much thought, prayer, consideration, I have decided to free the Mitch. So here he goes. Into North Florida. All right.
right, Mitch. It's time to go. Let go, Mitch. Let go, Mitch. There you go. <laughs> I think I killed him. I brought him up. Oh my gosh. Oh man. I killed the Mitch. You know that was unintentional. Ugh. Involuntary Mitch slaughter. Great news. We have located another Mitch. He's on the dashboard. Um, I am being very, very careful, so don't worry. Driving with two hands. Um, so anyway, we got a shot here at Redemption. We'll be uh, freeing this Mitch from Canada to Florida. All right, I've grabbed the Mitch. I'm gonna wait. I got a three-lane highway. I'm gonna wait till I'm nice and wide open here, and he is going to be freed. Northern Florida. Here we go, Mitch. There he goes. See him take off? <laughs> oh. Alright, so apparently I'm entering a COVID-19 checkpoint. My allergies are acting up, so I hope I don't sneeze. What do you think about this power pole? Wow, this is crazy. It's a global pandemic going on, people. And as I was driving south, it was uh, easy to kind of forget that, but now it's like hitting home. What's going on? How's it going? All right, this is crazy. where you come from? Coming from Pennsylvania. Have a great day, buddy. Drive safe. Thank you. So, I guess Pennsylvania's on the okay list. I was. That was kind of uh, weird, I think. I'm imagining if you say you're from New York or New Jersey, they might ask you a few more questions. I don't know. Interesting. Here we go, but back on the highway. Oh, how do I hate towing a boat through Orlando? Let me count the ways. Not fun. A lot of history here. I've been to this lake a lot of times. Had some pretty good finishes. I like it here, but uh, never camped looking forward to doing something different staying in a different place going to richardson's fish camp heard a lot of good things about it we shall see your destination is on the left we're here all right all set up home sweet home for the next week i can't say it enough it's unbelievable that this is on the back of my tundra. Unbelievable. There's the view. I'm looking forward to this week. I don't know what it is. I just got a good feeling. And between me and you, I don't think I'm gonna fish for big ones. I mean, I know when I think about it, it's like all the biggest fish I've ever caught in tournaments, I've been on a Senko. So uh, I'm gonna throw a Senko. I'm trying not to go in with preconceived notions to want to have an open mind but right now I'm thinking I'll probably do some chatterbait fishing spinnerbait some swim bait swim jig and my main deal is gonna be pitching that Senko around if I had to guess so we're all ready show you a couple things I'm not using the shower this week there's a shower house right next to me literally right there put my water and drinks and stuff in the shower food is packed for the week you know we got the covid thing going around i don't like to be in the store so hopefully i got enough food for the week and made some hamburgers and some chicken breasts and stuff like that and froze them for me i got some stuff right there for tonight got a lot of salad stuff the lettuce and that enough to make five salads so i should be good only problem is my banana doesn't look so hot. We're ready. We're still doing the organic thing. It's almost a year now. But anyway, that's the that's the rig. Sweet. 
Oh, what's in here? Oh, salad stuff, peanut butter and jelly. I got three loaves of bread, soup, and cereal. Fruit cups, stuff like that. Got apples. I think that's about it. I was gonna fire up my Lorances and start looking at, um, you know, my past on this lake, waypoints and things like that. I got the angler bullseye. Um, from the last two times I was here too with all the information so I did go over that <clears throat> and uh, just to kind of refresh my memory on where I caught them before but th but this is completely different we're here in June and uh, it's just way way later than we've ever been here so um, I'm basically going to start over I got a kind of an idea I'm going to probably launch right here at the fish camp and my goal is to stay in Toho but I'm just gonna go through all my tackle and make sure that I got everything rigged that I want, kind of take inventory, make sure everything I need is in the boat. And uh, it's time to get serious. Tomorrow starts practice. I got a lot of crap rigged. Hmm, hopefully I can weed it out. I'm gonna weed it a little bit out every day and by tournament time, I'll be down to one little tiny box and two rods. Yeah, right. Kissimmee or Toho? That is the question. I'm gonna try to try Toho tomorrow and try to make it work and do my best to hopefully stay put. I like the big fish potential in this lake and I like the fact that I think more than half the field's gonna run south, so we shall see. Stay tuned. Oh, well this weather's kind of confining me. I got nowhere to get out of the rain, so I'm just gonna watch videos. Look at maps. Do a little editing. Nothing really more that I can do. Gotta get pumped up. exactly what you want to happen. Throw out there, catch a two pounder or bigger on the very first flip. Really? On the flapping dad. That was fun. I knew I was gonna catch one on the first flip. I knew it. I knew it! So, that was on the flapping dead. We're trying a, one of these new 13 deals. <clears throat> but my whole, it's starting to sprinkle. It's gonna pour down rain today. I'm just gonna film a little bit here in the morning, maybe give you a recap at the end of the day, but that's about it. Not too much filming, I don't think. Um, but my whole game plan is to just stay in Toho today. 11 o'clock, the monsoon's coming, so. I just wanted to sit down. It's nice and quiet. I don't know how long the wind's gonna lay down, but just listen, fish, just kind of get a feel for it, kinda. They like bright flashy things down here too.
All right, boys and girls. That was a bona fide big one. Six pounder. You can see where he went back down right there. Crazy, there's some big ones. Shallow, just covering water. What's even crazier is this is the same place I caught him in our first Bass Pro Tour event down here on Toho. So, um, hmm, I'm just gonna flip a little bit more and then I'm gonna go out and look deep. Cause I know I can do this just about anywhere. Idling around. It's a perfect morning to find stuff. Calm. These bluegill beds are scattered all through here. I'll give you a little look at what they what they look like. You can actually see the bluegills inside there this is this is loaded there's lots of them here maybe on that one you can see I'm gonna make a couple casts just because I can I got a guy idling right toward me so I can't even oh yeah not a giant but hopefully he turns around there's a schooler just came up too so Four pounder. I just got out here offshore, idled past a, something on the bottom and marked it and came back and fished it and caught this one. But, and then I just saw another one jump like a bit. But I got a competitor idling right behind me, so. Just unbelievable. I want to show you this fish. My confidence is already soaring. That's my fake cast. It's just unbelievable. You got nobody around you, and as soon as you get a bite, somebody sits down right beside you and starts idling. I'm just gonna try to grab him real quick. Hooked on the trailer hook. show you guys nice one close to four not quite getting hot already mm. must not have hit that fish good enough because he just put his trolling motor down right where I caught that well, not a good day. If it was a five fish limit tournament, I'd feel decent. I mean, I had a couple of fish pushing six, had a couple of fours and some two and a halves. So not a horrible day, but I definitely don't feel that great about it. Oh, we got massive thunderstorm coming, so I'm losing a couple hours of fishing time. I don't even know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Probably, probably go to Kissimmee. Um, got to look at the weather. It's a tough call. I almost want to stay in Toho and try to find a few more places because I had some. I had a huge fish pull off today, out deep on some bluegill beds that I found out in the middle of the lake. So. Um, in a way, I want to kind of expand on that and find some of those one fish spots, maybe. You know, maybe I'll catch a giant one out there. So, I got some thinking to do. Either Kissimmee or stay in Toho. <clears throat> Day number two, but I didn't change my mind. Here I am, Lake Toho. Last day of practice. It's raining, we got all kinds of weather coming today again. All week we're going to be fishing in this. Definitely be some clock stoppages this week during competition. Is what it is. Here we go.
sometimes that's just what you need to get a little confidence. I'll switch the trailer. guys that's the third bass I've caught all day not good I got about a half hour left before the uh, practice is over I'm not feeling real good about it but at least I don't have a whole lot of places to go run and hit <laughs> Florida bass aren't crazy about clouds and rain and stuff either, but there's going to be some guys that really struggle on this one. We start in eight minutes. I'm just kind of guarding this one spot because like this is where I had those bites in practice, bigger bites. And then with five minutes left, I'm gonna run out here. Now that I know, I just, I hope nobody's starting here. We're gonna hit something out deep real quick. Save this. Hopefully the wind doesn't get any worse. That's the other thing. It was flat dead calm when I was here before. sick about it but it should have been decent I had a three pounder jump off early in the day I didn't video a lot because nothing was going on I would have burned through a terabyte of footage for nothing but uh I lost another three and a half pounder had another about four or five pounder follow a top water wake behind it. I saw the fish who followed all the way to the boat. And then I lost another one about two pounds. And then I lost that one at the end of the day, which was every bit of four. So even with all those fish, I wouldn't have been, you know, Six way up there. Left onto Pine Island Road. I wouldn't have been way up there in the standings, but at least I'd be in decent shape. So it's just a fine line. But oh in a freaking quarter mile, your well. destination will be on the left. Major League Fishing would like to welcome you to day two qualifying round for Group A at the Heavy Hitters. So 
so basically I got sidetracked. I wanted to just look for schoolers around here, but my plan was to go up there where I caught my only fish the other day on the south end, but lo and behold, we found us a pretty big school of fish. They're, they're in a 50 yards circle right here. There's a ton of them. Then the one that I lost the, the last second <clears throat> over here, um, just made me feel like maybe I should stay at the north end all day and just keep putting my head down and keep my baits in the water. So we got six minutes. Five, four, three, two, one. Five here. Please bite the spinner bait. Little one. Little tiny. <laughs> Don't get off. I should give you something to do. <laughs> Maybe I need to sit down. Day, we know what a two pounder looks like. Go through the motions just like you're supposed to do. Throw a June bug speed worm on Lake Toho. Shut my brain off. Brain is officially off. It's off, Jim. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> brain is mush. You mean it's fried. <laughs> All right. Might as well show one to the camp. Finally. Five pounds, six ounces. Five, six. Five, six. Bate. Got a scary jump there at the boat. Pounds, two ounces. Well, he looks bigger. Uh, two, two. Scary. He picked it up. Picked it up, dropped it, picked it up, dropped it again, and then hit it a third time. We got one hour left in the period. Oh, praise you God. I wasn't even going to come here. I just missed another one. Another little one. All I need is like four fish. In the last, I mean, if I get four fish, I could make it. One nine. That was my next struggle bear. That was my next guess. Oh, got another one. This is a big one. 
No, it's not either. Looks like a pickerel. Good riddance, Lake Toho. Hard to believe I drove all the way down here for that. <sighs> I didn't do anything wrong. I'm not sure what I got on camera, but I just didn't have time to keep swapping batteries and stuff, but I lost, I had about 40 bites today that I didn't catch. Had a couple decent, you know, four, four pound range fish at the boat and uh, who knows how big the other ones were so I mean it's just I should have lost the five pounder that I caught so I don't know now I got a big long ride home it's uh it's a bad feeling I can tell you that I get to go home a couple days early but that's my reward, I guess. But it's just one of them deals, you know. You, there's been a couple tournaments this last year or two that just should have been great, you know. So borderline close, you know. And then, not to mention, you know, finding some little tiny spots. Like I, I found a rock, you know, one like single rock. I found a bunch of those, but I mean, one that had some big fish on it. I caught a six off of it in practice. And uh, some other little gravelly type shell bed type places. And three of them I never even got to fish because guys find everything. You get out there with that Lowrance, you know, that HDS and you side scan everything 120 plus feet out each side. And you know, when you're in the same area as somebody like Brian Thrift, and you don't realize it in practice, um, you know that every single stone has been overturned out there. Every single place has been found. So it, it kind of kills your confidence. But he, he was sitting right on what I thought was going to be my best spot. Gary Klein was sitting on, you know, I just made a mistake. I caught a fish and then left an area and then he pulled in behind me and got on it and caught six got the watch so it's a fine line live and learn going back to this freaking snow gopro stop recording